It's day one of the UN Climate Change Conference and here we are in Poznan in Poland launching our Canvas of Change exhibition. This follows hot on the foot after the opening ceremony where the delegates were uh, creating quite a buzz as they arrived for the proceedings for the next fortnight and we'll be bringing this exhibition to their attention. It tells the stories of how climate change is impacting on people from around the world. We have stories from 14 different countries. And we're going to start with some explanations from some experts from some of those countries to tell you about the meaning and the stories behind their particular country canvases. I'm Stanley So from Oxfam, Hong Kong. And I would like to introduce you uh, to Canvas. This is the first one. Um, this is from uh, you know, a painting by a small child, you know, aged around 12 you know, from Gansu, China. When you look at this picture, you see the cracked earth because of the drought in Gansu. And the cracked earth are framed in a Chinese character, farmland. It means farmland to China. And what, you know, the, the children wants to portray is, uh, you know, is the, the drought situations they face in Gansu for many years. And, uh, of course, it has something to do with the climate change because climate change has made the weather unpredictable to them. And then this is the canvas from Hong Kong. And uh, the artist got inspirations from the canvas from mainland China. And then, you know, he ma she makes this one. And you could see th this is a kind of uh, the melting, you know, the melting landscape of uh, the Victoria Harbour, the night view. And it forced us to think about the linkages between what we are having here in Hong Kong and how it links to the livelihood of people in Gansu. Hello, my name is Ziaul Hak Mukta. I'm from Bangladesh. Uh, as you find this picture here, uh, it is uh, painted by some students uh, from a small town in Bangladesh. You know, the, the picture says that uh, frequent and uh, heavy floods in Bangladesh are affecting people's lives and livelihoods. Hi, I'm Savio Carvalho, the country director for Oxfam in Uganda. This is a canvas that's been prepared by university students in Kampala, and it reflects the reality of climate change, especially experienced by poor people in Uganda. So if you can see in this canvas, you can, this represents the heat, the sun rays, and the heating climate, which has a direct impact on agriculture. And Uganda is an ag agrarian economy, so poor people depend on food from agriculture. And if the temperatures keep rising, people are not able to grow what they normally grow. And that impacts poverty and impacts food security. We also see forests, forest degradation, and you have the saws, you have the axes, and poor people actually who live in forests depend on these forests. And as forests get degraded, this again, once again, has impact on poor men and women. And so once again, we actually call on the international community through this canvas to help developing countries, to help poorer countries, and to put resources back on the table so that these countries can cope with climate change. And this has to be done now. Later in the week, we're presenting our climate monster to the delegates here in Poznan. Find out more about that in our next report.